Namaste everyone. This is a story about the tool talk. One morning an interesting discussion took place in a carpenter's shop. The carpenter's tools got together to complain about each other. The ruler was straightforward and said, I think hammer is too noisy all the time. Tuff, 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 tuff. The tough sandpaper joined in. I agree. I can hardly stand the noise he makes. It gives me a headache. He is so inconsiderate. Then came the screwdriver. Yes, I suggest we get rid of this noisy hammer. All this while, the hammer was silently listening to the discussion and said, I have to go. Mr. Lula has to go too. He is always measuring everything like he is the only one who knows everything. For him, it is just measuring, measuring and measuring. The sharp saw jumped at this. Yes, he doesn't let me move till he's done. We don't see the ruler watching around all the time. The ruler made himself even straighter than usual. He was hurt by all of the comments. If I go, then the screwdriver will have to go too. She's so difficult to work with. You have to keep on turning her round and round to get her to do anything. This irritated the screwdriver. Well, I'm ready to leave, but what about the sandpaper? Always rubbing people the wrong way. Scratch, 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 scratch. I'll go right now. But the saw will have to go too. He makes such a mess of all the sanders on the floor. Saw, 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 saw. The tools were so busy arguing and shouting at each other that they did not hear the carpenter walking into the workshop. The carpenter was in a happy mood. He said happily, singing to himself. Today I have to make a beautiful chair. He quickly gathered all the tools and started working. After a few hours, a beautiful chair was made. The carpenter was so pleased to see what he had made. Just look at this chair. Oh, it's so beautiful. I will get a very good price for it. Indeed, it is fit for a king's palace. Saying this, he picked up all his tools one by one, wiped them oiled them and put them all neatly in his toolbox. After he left, the tools opened the toolbox and came out one after another. But this time, there was no shouting or an argument. The ruler was first to speak. My dear penitents, I wish to apologize in thinking that any one of you is less important than the rest of us. I have seen how the carpenter needed each one of us to make that grand chair. The saw quickly added, Yes, I cut all the pieces of wood, but it wouldn't have made anything without hammer and screwdriver's help. They were the ones who put in all the nails and screws. The hammer came forward. He was calm and collected. Now, Mr. Ruler, the whole thing would have been proved. We should remember that the sandpaper made everything smooth and nice. The tools had realized that each one of them had some good quality and together they could make some grand things like that chair. They resolved to work together happily and recited a little poem together. To make something nice for all to see, Carpenter, our master, needs us to be. Working together in harmony. A good thing always in unity. Carpenter, our master, needs us to be. A good team always in unity. Over the years, the tools went on to help the carpenter make many grand pieces of furniture. The carpenter became rich and famous. 
He would proudly tell everyone, My tools are very, very dear to me. I will never part with my precious tools. So what is the moral of the story? No one is useless. Each one has a unique and important role to play. God doesn't allow to win the game of life alone. Unity and teamwork is the only way to success. Thank you and Namaste.